When Janet Ellis bought a house with a sea view, she never imagined the view would come quite so close. We used to drive up here on the road and park our cars on this uh, driveway. And it's, it's all gone. Where the road has already gone, Janet's house and a handful of others will soon follow. The clay cliffs on the East Yorkshire coastline are being eaten away faster than ever. With sea defences too expensive to consider, these houses are now worth nothing. There was a road right the way around along here, round to Olro. Officials regularly drive along the only road into this community to survey the damage, and each season the journey gets shorter. To make things worse, government cash to pay for houses to be demolished has dried up. The council wants the government to provide more help. We're not asking for lots of money, we're not being unreasonable, but we would like a pot of money that would enable us to put in bids to continue to manage the effects of erosion. When the tide goes out, the dangerous position of these homes becomes obvious. The government says there is a grant of £6,000 available for each household to help with demolition costs. But for some people, faced with losing everything, it's not enough. For Janet Ellis, this could be the last Christmas in her home of 27 years, and she has no idea where she'll go. I just thought they'd do something for it, you know, to keep me home so I can pass it on to my children. That's what I want. Somebody should help us. Meanwhile, the sea is getting closer with every high tide. Gerard Tubb, Sky News, Skipsy.